Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be shopping my stash. So whenever I do these videos, I like to go through and pick up products that I haven't used in a while that I wanna show some love to. And I always like to do a mix of drugstore and high-end as well, so I have all my products here because I already picked everything out. But basically, we're gonna pick through all the products that I'm gonna use for today's video, and then we'll get ready together and use all the goodies. So I'm thinking also something for spring because it's officially spring, so I wanna do like a pop of pink. I have like a vision in my head, so I'm hoping that it comes to life. So I hope you guys enjoy. Grab a snack, get cozy, and let's shop my stash, and then we'll get ready together and do a spring makeup look. Okay, so first, I always like to pick out my eyeshadow palettes first because then once I pick my palettes out, I can kind of get a better idea of what other products I want to use. So let's see what we got here. I kind of want to use an old palette today. Okay, so this palette is really pretty. It's not old, but it's the Cinderella palette from Sigma. So this is actually a pretty option. This is from Sigma. It's the Cinderella palette that they have, and I love like that purple and that like teal. Could be an option, maybe. And then I also have the Latte 2 palette here from Dominique Cosmetics. This could be another option for spring. It's like neutral, but there's some pops of color. That's really pretty. I also have this one. This is iconic. It's the Jackie Ina and Anastasia collab. I love love this palette. This is so pretty and I actually haven't used this in a really long time. I actually may use this honestly because I feel like this is such a nice palette and I think I want to use some of the pinks in here. So if we're going to do pink, this Milani lipstick right here is perfect. The Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks. If you guys have never tried these, you need to. They are the best matte lipsticks at the drugstore and I haven't tried this shade in Peony. Definitely want to add a gloss with this as well. I'm thinking like a pink glossy lip would be perfect. Perfect. I feel like this NYX This Is Milky Gloss would actually be like really nice together. Honestly, kind of like the NYX Butter Glosses, but a little bit creamier and a little bit more pigmented. I also really have been loving these Makeup Revolution Shimmer Balm Glosses. So I think actually that might be a nice combo. Yeah, let's do that. Also, since I'm here, I just actually added this to my vanity, the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. Let's try this out today. I got this sent to me in PR. Let's pick out some lashes. These are stunning from Flutter and Love. I also really love Lily Lashes. These are the Faux Mink Collection. These are like in the style Miami, but I don't think I've ever used these before in the style Rome. So let's try these out today. So now we can do complexion. So I have eyes. So let's start with primer. These are mostly like all hydrating or pore filling. I actually may use this one from Believe Beauty, the Radiantly Primer. So one of you guys actually told me that this is a good alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So let's try it out. Okay, foundation. So I'm honestly gearing towards this Kosas foundation now that I see it because I've only used it like once. So I'm gonna test it out again because when I did use it, I really liked it. For concealer, I already know. I'm gonna go in with my Haley's Beauty Rewind Blurring Full Coverage Concealer. I wanna give a huge shout out to Haley's Beauty for sponsoring this section of today's video. This is honestly one of the best, most like intense coverage concealers that's still super lightweight and long lasting on the skin. It doesn't get cakey. It's just like the most perfect formula. Love the packaging, love the applicator. I'm gonna go in with the shade Medium Neutral today and Haley's Beauty is having their friends and family sales. So everything is 25% off, no code necessary. So I'm definitely gonna use this today and then to set my under eyes you guys know I love the Haley's Beauty retouch soft focus setting powder it looks great in photos And it does a good job at setting your makeup and just really holding and locking everything into place So I'm gonna use this to set my under eyes and the Haley's powder is a great setting powder But it doesn't really brighten so I am gonna want a little bit of a bright under eye So I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Cosmetics face palette. This one is the light one I need to get like the light medium, but I'm gonna use this today just to add a little brightness to the under eyes so for blush, I think I want to mix in the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer. I don't really love this on its own, but I've seen a bunch of people on TikTok before mixing this in with the liquid blushes and kind of making like a really pretty glowy blush. So let's try that today. And my favorite shade from the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes is Bliss. Now for some cream bronzer. Just use my contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury because I love the color on this. Okay, and then for bronzer, I already know which one I want to use right here. I just bought a new Fenty Instant Warmth Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. So I just picked up a new one. I completely hit pan on this before. And this is one of my all time favorite bronzers. I love this shade and the formula is great. So I'm going to use this and this is a fresh one and it's so satisfying. And then for powdered blush, I definitely have to do like a pretty like light baby pink. I love this palette from BH by the way, Vanilla Cream 
truffle and this one is like honestly the perfect palette for today's look okay it looks like it's still available on beauty bay's website and it's 12 dollars, which is like the same price that it was whenever it was on bh cosmetics oh yeah and they have all the other palettes as well okay yeah i'm definitely gonna use this palette today it's so pretty they have a bunch of other shades and if you need some good blushes i love these blush quads and then for highlighter today what should we use these are all of like my single highlighters and then we have some highlighter palettes over here this from flower beauty looks stunning maybe could be an option because i like the light pinky tones in these but you know what this is a new highlighter i actually just picked this up a few days ago from undone beauty it's the four in one highlighter palette okay this is the product lineup it's looking good we have some drugstore some high-end which i love i love having like a good mix so let's pick out some mascara and eyeliner here are all the liners i know this is a mess i need to like go through these again and there's a random hair tie in here which is cute <laughs> So lip liner, since I'm doing something pink, I do want a little bit more of a darker mauve lip liner underneath. Honestly, this could be a good option. Milani color statement lip liner. Ooh, this is an OG. These are really good. And this one's in 04. I could test this out again. These are like their wooden lip pencils and they're honestly really underrated. And for mascara today, I think I'm just going to use this one from LA Girl. This is the Jet Setter Mascara. Definitely also want to do a baby pink on the waterline. If the look goes as planned, I will use this eyeliner. This is the Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliner from LA Girl in the shade Baby Pink. Okay, I think we got everything. So let's start the full face. Okay, so first I forgot to pick this out, but I'm just going to go in with my Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. This is typically my go-to eye primer. I just love the formula of it and I love love the light tint that it gives to your lids. I like to put this pretty much everywhere and then I blend it out with a brush. I'm so excited to use this palette. So of course I'm going to use the ABH and Jackie Ina palette. So let's start off with this shade right here, which is like the most beautiful, like wearable rose pink. Like it's not a baby pink. It's not a bright pink. It's just like the most perfect pink. So I'm going to apply that pretty much on the outer part of my lid and I'm going to bring it in a little bit in my crease. And what I really love about this palette is that everybody can use it. Like any skin tone, anybody. It's like one of those palettes where you could really like also transition this over from like the fall to like spring and summer. I'm just really going to build up that shade on the outer lid. Oh, I love that color. So I'm gonna pack it on. And this brush that I'm using, by the way, is from BH Cosmetics. It is from the Weekend Vibes kit. And with a clean brush, I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend out the edges. And then I'll add just a little bit more of that pink right in this area. really love the way this color looks it's like truly the prettiest pink and you see that pigment i feel like normally pink colors can be really hard to work with but this shade is just like blending and building up so beautifully so really just creamy, blendable matte pink. So once I built up that pink quite a bit, I'm gonna go in with a shimmer now and I'm gonna take this really pretty, it's like a rose gold and this one is in the shade Zam. I love all the names in this palette, but this is like the most beautiful rose gold. And I'm gonna apply that on my lid. I honestly forgot how good Anastasia eyeshadows are. Like these palettes used to be my jam. Whenever they would launch a new one, I would be so excited. I would order it immediately back in like 2015, 2016. I feel like these palettes really became super popular. But I really love the color story in this palette because it is different than a lot of other palettes that I have. So I like this a lot. I recommend it. If you want something colorful but still really wearable, you will love 
this one. So I think later on I'm going to do a pop of purple on the lower lashes and I'm going to use this royal purple. But I'm just going to keep the top half of my eyes just like this because I really like the way the golds and like the pink looks together. So the only thing that I'm going to do, I just grabbed this. Hold on. I do have the LA Girl Dream Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow. I just grabbed this and these are stunning. I've been really loving them but I've never tried this shade right here and this one is in the color Sugar High and it's just like a true like baby pink. So I'm going to take this and you guys know I love to do this but I'm going to add a little bit of that right in here just to emphasize that shimmer on the lid. So basically these you can just apply them directly onto your lids or you can make an eyeliner out of them by just using a small brush with the product and just applying it like you would any other like liquid or gel liner. That's why I love this brush. It's just the angled eyeliner brush from e.l.f. because it really fits in this area perfectly. It has like a slight angle to it. So I love doing this. And let me just show you guys this swatch. Look at that. It is so pretty. So if you have not tried these from LA Girl, go get them. You're welcome. They are amazing. All right, I'm going to go in with some LA Girl Jet Setter. A lot of LA Girl, actually. I didn't even do that on purpose, but this looks actually like a really good mascara. So don't remember the last time I used it. Okay, wait, I like this. Gives some length and a little bit of volume. Okay, I've been putting castor oil on my lashes and I think it's helping a little bit. Not gonna lie, like my lashes are not crazy long, but you can definitely see that, right? Like. Look at that separation and the length. Let me pop these on really quick. These are the Lily Foaming Lashes in the style Rome. Also, PSA to all of you guys watching this, if you are not applying your lashes with a lash applicator, I have this one. This was sent to me in PR. It's from this brand right here, Lith. But any lash applicator, if you're not using one, start right now. It makes it so much easier versus using your fingers or tweezers. Just something about like the shape and just like everything. It makes it so much easier, so. I've never tried these lashes and I don't know how I feel about them. Ooh, yeah, they are thick. You can see like they're very voluminous. The band is a little bit thicker. I think these, I mean, they're nice with this look, but they might be best with winged liner just because the band is so thick probably not my favorite style from lily lashes i like the style miami i think a little bit more but they're pretty i'll rock them for today's look why not next i'm gonna go in with the glass skin veil mist from peach and lily so i was gonna use the milani one like as a primer spray but it actually says on here you can use it to prep set and refresh your makeup so i'm gonna just use this i thought this was more so like a spray to just like add some glow and like melt the products into your skin but it actually i guess could be kind of an all-in-one spray. So let me spray my face and then I'll go in with my primers. Ooh, love the mister. Feels very refreshing and there's no scent to it, which is nice. The packaging is also nice. It's like a glass. Okay, that felt really, really good. I don't know what I was thinking with the spray, but it wasn't this. For some reason, I felt like it was going to be a lot more like dewy and like kind of oily on the skin, but it actually feels like really refreshing, but still like a light mist. So now for an actual primer, I'm going to use the Believe Beauty Radiantly Primed Face Primer. And this one, I believe it just comes in one shade. I'm a huge fan of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So if this could be a dupe or like potentially another just more affordable alternative I'm here for it so wow that looks really glowy let's try it out Ooh, look at that glow it's also hydrating like it's a really creamy product you can probably see right there do you see that glow that it gives to the skin it's pretty Okay, this could be actually, I think, one of the better dupes because you can see it does give you that very similar glowy effect. It's not like identical. And the Charlotte Tilbury one does come in different shades. I believe this one just comes in like one or two different colors, but you do get a very pretty just glow to the skin. And I feel like even alone or just like mixed in with another foundation, this could be really nice. So, okay, I like this a lot actually. And this is super affordable. I think it's like five bucks. So now I'm gonna use the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. I 
I definitely think I need to go up like one shade and it would be perfect. But I still love the finish of it. I mean, look at how nice that looks. It looks like it's laying really nicely over top of that primer too. Like there's still a little bit of glow peeking through, which I like. I'm actually just gonna blend this out with my sponge. Oh, I love how blendable this foundation is. But it looks really good. I like the coverage. It's very breathable, natural, but still gives you like good medium coverage. Like it's not completely sheer, which I like personally. I like the way it looks both with the sponge and with a brush. This is like my favorite brush, by the way, from Haley's Beauty, the Brilliant Kabuki. It just blends all of your products so seamlessly and it doesn't absorb any of your foundation. So no matter what product you're using, it's not gonna shear it out. It's still gonna give you that full coverage or medium coverage, whatever the foundation is, but it's just truly like a flawless foundation brush. I love it. So speaking of Haley's Beauty, I am going to go in with one of my all-time favorite full coverage concealers, and this is the Rewind Blurring Full Coverage Concealer, and it is the perfect time to snag this up or any other products if you've been wanting to try anything from Haley's Beauty because they have their friends and family sale. So everything on their website is 25% off, no code necessary, and this concealer is it. It is full coverage, but still really lightweight, creamy, blends into the skin seamlessly. It has like a soft matte finish, but it's not drying, which is like one of my favorite things because because I have super dry under eyes. And I told you guys I was going in with medium neutral. Whenever I want more of just like not a bright under eye look, I will use medium neutral or maybe mix it in with a little bit of a lighter shade. But today I'm actually gonna use light neutral. And when I want an even brighter under eye look, I will use fair light neutral. This also has a metal applicator, which you can see it feels really good when you're applying it on your under eyes. But I like to also just apply this on the back of my hand. And then from there, apply it to my under eyes just so I can really control how much product I'm using. P.S. If you have been wanting to try out Haley's Beauty. Like I said, now is the time to do so. They're vegan, cruelty-free. It's a female-owned business. So I'm just gonna blend this out with my sponge. Look at that coverage. And honestly, even what I used is probably too much. That's how full coverage it is. So be mindful. And honestly, you could even use this just on its own if you're not using any foundation, just to spot conceal because it just has the most creamy full coverage formula. And this for me right now, Fair Neutral is a perfect shade. Now for a cream contour, I'm gonna go in with the Hollywood Contour One from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just gonna pretty much bronze the skin. And I'm actually just gonna use that Haley's Beauty Brilliant Kabuki brush just to blend this out. This brush could be used for foundation, for cream products. I love it, and I love this color. I will go back in and kind of blend everything out with a sponge to make it look a little bit more seamless. So now let's do some cream blush. So I'm gonna mix my highlighter and the liquid blush in the shade Bliss. So I'm just gonna do this right on the back of my hand. I'm gonna start with the color Bliss, and then we're gonna take the liquid highlighter and let's mix the two together. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to use that same brush. Okay, so it's pretty, but it's really light. So I'm probably going to have to add more blush, but I really like the glow that it gives. Very subtle, but still like adds a little something. This shade in general though is really light, Bliss. I think this would be a really cute shade, especially if you are lighter than I am. Like it's the perfect everyday pink. I think the trick is, it's cute. I can see why a lot of people like it. Might be a better option to do maybe over powders just because obviously when you go in with powder, it's gonna like remove some of that glow. All right, I'm just blending out these little creases and we're gonna set with my Holy Grail Loose Setting Powder. You guys have to pick it up, especially now. It's like 25% off. It's amazing. This is the Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder. This is like a universal powder. Everybody and anybody can use it. You can use it on your under eyes. You can use it to set your face. I've been raving about this since literally 2019. Like I've been loving it for years. It's that good. And I'm still loving the Sigma and Taylor Wynn Under Eye Brush. This brush is like magic. Smooths you out and sets your makeup, but it's not powdery, it's not cakey on the skin. I'm gonna put some a little bit right on my T-zone and around my nose.
This powder also looks great in photos and it's not drying on the skin too. That's why I really like it. And I especially really like this whenever I don't really wanna worry about my makeup because you don't have to touch up, I feel like, as often when you're using this product. Then I'm gonna go in with a brightening palette. This one is the Brightening and Setting Palette from Jaclyn Cosmetics. And I definitely need to go up a shade. This is like way too light, but I make it work by just using these two colors right here. I love the formula of this powder though. It's really, really nice. You can see it just adds some brightness, but obviously the more that you add, the more intense it's gonna be. But I don't find it to be like too light to the point where it's like unwearable. Just depends on how much you're using, what brush you're using. If you use this with a sponge, you're definitely going to get way more color under your eyes versus using like a fluffy brush like I'm doing today. So let's add some bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Instant Warmth Bronzer. This is just the most perfect shade. I love this color, love this formula. I was honestly cheating on this for a while because I was using the Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo and also the LYS Beauty Bronzer. But I was at Sephora and I'm like, let me pick this up again because this is so good. And I have another color in this bronzer in Private Island, which is a little bit darker, but I prefer this whenever I don't have any color to me because it gives me a little bit of warmth, but it's not too orange on my skin. So I love this shade. For blush, I'm gonna use this one from BH Cosmetics. These little blush quads are everything. I'm gonna mix these three shades right here. I'm just gonna do a little swirl. Mm, this also smells really nice. Okay, I'm gonna add some highlighter and I'm gonna use this one from Undone Beauty. This looks so pretty. Well, let's go in with a brush and I think I'm just gonna mix like these two colors right here. The gold with like the pink. Ooh, okay. Well, let me blend it out with a sponge. And that is like me barely dipping my brush into the product. I just did like a tiny bit. Wow, it's pretty though. If you like a really intense glow, you will love this product. I feel like this would be even like a pretty like body highlighter too because it's just so intense. I'm gonna take that lightest color and I'm gonna apply that in the inner corners. I'm just gonna put that right in here. I like this a lot, but it is definitely intense. So if you don't like a lot of highlighter or like a very glowy product, you're not gonna like this, but even that purple highlighter, I know that can look intimidating, but just watching it, you can see it's actually very wearable. See, it has like that purple kind of hue, but it's pretty. I have a lot of highlighter on, but it's fine. I know it looks like a stripe on my face, but I'm just trying to show you like that hue because it looks a little intimidating like when you see a purple highlighter, but it's actually really wearable. And now for lips, let's do those since we're here. I'm gonna start off with the Milani Color Statement Lip Pencil in 04. Let me sharpen this. Even though these are wooden, they are so creamy. I wish Milani would come out with more shades because I love this formula. And then we're gonna go in with Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick. This is a brand new one. Look how satisfying that looks. I love it. In the shade Peony. Mmm, this is actually super wearable. This is the most wearable, like, pink. Like, it's not... I actually thought it was going to be a little bit more of like a lighter pink, but it's pretty. This kind of looks like a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, honestly. Like the shade is so similar. Hold on, I have to like swatch this. Okay, so I have Pillow Talk right here. This one's actually probably going to be a little bit more mauve. So that's Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. And then this is Milani. Let's swatch it next to it. Not identical, but like pretty similar like very similar tone a very similar vibe and then i'm just gonna add a little bit of this shimmer balm from makeup revolution so this is a little bit thicker so this is a gloss that you can pretty much just put in the center of your lips and it adds just like this really pretty like shimmer glitter touch you see what i mean like it just adds a little extra something like it gives you a glossy touch but it's so subtle i've actually never used this color i used the other shade the most, but it's pretty. Now for the lower lashes, I'm gonna try a pop of purple. So I'm gonna use uh, this shade right here, and then if I don't end up loving it, I will just mix in the pink and we will just go from there. I'm gonna take this color right here in big wig. It's like a true royal purple. So 
So earlier I told you guys I was gonna do baby pink on the lower lashes. These pastel dream eyeliners from LA Girl are beautiful and very pigmented. But instead of going in with this shade baby pink, I'm actually gonna use the shade lavender just to go with the pop of purple on the lash line. I love this. And I like these too because they will like brighten up your eyes. But again, it could, it's just a little pop of color. Let me set the makeup and then I'm gonna do lower lash mascara. So I'm actually just gonna use the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Mist. Okay, you guys, I did not expect to actually love this makeup look as much as I do. At first, I was like, ooh, I don't know about the purple, but once I started applying it, I feel like it really like tied everything together. And honestly, minus the lashes and probably like the liquid highlighter mixed with the blush, like for me, that's not really like a necessary step. But minus those two things, I feel like everything else I'm in love with. I love the OG products, love the new stuff that I tried. Some standout products that I tried that were new that I loved. First, the Glass Skin Peach and Lily Spray. This is really nice. It's definitely not super extremely dewy like it's very subtle But it's definitely hydrating and I love the mister because it just distributes the product really evenly the foundation Concealer powder combo is just stunning. Definitely don't forget to check out the Haley's Beauty friends and family sale I also really loved the radiantly primed primer from Believe Beauty This is not identical to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter But it does give a very similar effect and for the price you really cannot beat it this highlighter from undone beauty This is stunning. I actually love all the very variations of highlighter in here. This lipstick from Milani is honestly the perfect Charlotte Tilbury dupe. I mean, the formula, just the color, everything about this is so perfect. Also, this eyeshadow palette, I am in love with this. I mean, I have done several looks with this in the past, but I kind of just like refell in love with it because I love the colors, the pigmentation, the formula. There is some fallout, but that's why I like to do my eye makeup before my face anyway, so it's not really a huge deal. I think it's a good splurge item, 10 out of 10. So this is your sign to use up what you have and do a pop of color for spring. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video check the description box below for all links and until next time i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye